I'm gonna go over and check on the strawberries in the high tunnel here because I know everybody wants a little bit of an update of what we've been doing in here with the strawberries. So this is an August update. These strawberries have been in since um, April, been in for quite a while. And the uh, cultivar I planted is called Albion, which is an ever-bearing strawberry. So I'm still getting strawberries even now in August, which is really kind of cool. So let me give you an update on what's going on in here. I wanted to give you a little quick update again, like I said, as I was walking over here to the high tunnel about my strawberries. As you can see, they're doing really well here, my Albion variety. And I'm getting a really nice um, harvest every week on them. Every other day is when I harvest. And right now I'm averaging about five pounds Time. So it's about 15 pounds a week and the first harvests that I do because it's either a Sunday or Monday it's too far away from the farm market for me to keep these strawberries good so I always want to have a nice um, fresh product that you know the customer can keep for a little bit at, at the farm market so which is good for us because those ones that I harvest at the beginning of the week I end up cutting it up and I freeze them for us and what I do is when I freeze them I put on parchment paper on a cookie sheet have them all separated, put them in the freezer, and then um, once they're all frozen, put them in a zip, uh, freezer grade Ziploc bag, and they're good to go for a good six months or so. And it's really good in the summer or the winter time to have smoothies with fresh strawberries that you know that you grew. So as you can tell, I do have some bug damage up here, and that's from the Japanese beetles, and we'll take care of those with the um, bucket of water and some Dawn soap in it, and you put a pair of gloves on, you pick those little buggers off, and you throw them in the bucket and they're out of here for good. As you've probably seen in previous videos, Doug made this really nice rack for me. And um, you can see the strawberries have a little bit of bug damage. They like the um, Japanese beetles like to come in here and devastate them. So one of the things I do, I try to do every other morning that I'm not harvesting, is I come in here with a little mug or um, a little pitcher that I have and I put a little water and Dawn soap in it put a pair of gloves on because I do not like touching Japanese beetles and I pull them off the plants and I throw them into the um, soapy water to kill them and that gets them out of here because I don't want to do any sprays or anything on any of my produce so I manually come through and get them out of here so the strawberries look a little sad here and there but they're doing pretty good like I said I can't complain you can see some of the damage there but there's some nice pretty white flowers coming up and um, you can see some strawberries here and there since the bees don't come in here, these are all wind pollinated, so it's pretty cool. I had a bunch of runners on these, and I ended up cutting those off because the runners really take away from the production of the strawberries. And the other issue I had, as you can see there, is grass. I probably should have rinsed off the bare root stock when I got it because you know how it always comes with a little bit of sand. I should have rinsed it off, but I didn't, and so I got um, grass. With the grass and the strawberries, as you can see again there, it was a major pain because I let it get out of hand. I wasn't in here like I should have been, so I had to come through here. And it took me probably about a good eh, 45 minutes to an hour to go through on certain patches that had all the grass in there. So I was able to pull it out. I got some here I still got to do, but it really devastated production. So note for next year, make sure you rinse off your bare root stock before you put it into your perlite for make your light mixture because I knew my, my potting mixture, you know, they, my growing medium was clean, didn't have any seeds in it because it is perlite and vermiculite. So it, the seeds had to come from the bare root stock. So that did cause a problem. And just make sure that you stay up on top of all the runners. Like I said, it kind of slowed down my production a little bit. But as you can see here, I'm still getting some good production. I'm getting some nice strawberries. Every once in a while we get a bird in here. So I kind of put the little um, pinwheels up. There we go put some pinwheels up and uh, that helped get the birds out of here. And you can see that we do have some nice strawberries. And you can see some more runners are starting on me. So since we do get a few birds in here, I ended up putting some pinwheels and you can see I'm already getting some runners. These guys are very prolific at putting out runners. But you can see there's some nice little strawberries inside of there and there's another one that's almost ripe. I try to leave them on the vine as long as possible because I want to make sure you have a nice ripe strawberry that's red all the way through. You can see my production is pretty good here. So we got the drip system in here, which Doug has set coming up on um, four times a day. It comes on at nine in the morning, 
noon, three o'clock in the afternoon, and six o'clock in the evening. It seems to be working really good. He's got it coming on for about 15 minutes. I do have the same um, nutrient formula coming to the strawberries as I do the peppers and my out of control tomatoes down here. As you can see, they're totally out of control. But we're making some sauce with those tomatoes, so I'm really excited about that. And you can see Doug's hops back there doing really well. So like I said, the strawberries are doing good. Just take a little bit of work, but it's not too bad. And I'll come up here and I'll show you Doug's dosatron system he put up and what type of uh, EC and pH I'm doing with them and the fertilizer mixture that we're using. We're not real complicated out here. It's just a kind of a uh, easy mixture and it seems to be working really good. Like I said, I'm getting five pounds every other day out of the uh, strawberries. Also wanted to let you know, like I said, I'm getting five pounds a day. That's right now in August when it's hot and the plants aren't super happy. So I'm expecting and hoping for a really good harvest in September when the, the um, weather cools down and the plants start producing a lot more. So here's the Dostron Doug has all set up for me. Really can't see the um, Blue Lab Guardian we're doing. You can kind of see the numbers flipping in and out there. But my EC is a little high. I'm trying to keep it at 1.1 to 1.2 and it's 1.3. Water temperature is 91 because it's hot in here and that's the temperature that's in the pipes there. And my pH is 62 because um, strawberries and peppers like a little bit higher eat, um, pH than does the lettuce. I keep my lettuce at 5.8. So I'm gonna work on, I have to dial down the dosatron here for the um, EC just a little tiny bit. My EC was a little bit too high from what I wanted to be, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust my dosatron to do a little bit less dosing. So I'm going to unlock the um, gauge here, give it a little spin down, not too much because it's very sensitive, and do it back up again. And it should come on again here. It's almost six o'clock in the evening, so it should come on here shortly. And I'll come back out and make sure that my um, EC is at the correct um, reading that I want it to be at that we use in the high tunnel. It's a water soluble fertilizer from Miller's. I'm using triple 20 and we're having good results with it. It's working good for the strawberries, the peppers, the tomatoes, the hops, and I got some zucchinis in there too and my green onions or my regular onions I grew. So we're going to keep using this for the rest of the year and like I said it's water soluble easy to use. Okay, so I'm back up at the house after working in the high tunnel in the greenhouse. Hopefully you liked our um, strawberry update video. I'm gonna sit out here and enjoy this August evening. I think it's still 79 degrees and it's uh, just nine o'clock. So uh, it's getting dark earlier. The days are getting shorter. So if there's any other questions or any other content you'd like to see about strawberries, you know, drop me a line in the comments. I'll try to answer them or do another video on the updates as we keep going because I definitely wanna do one in September and see how much more production I, I'm getting. So if you really liked our video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification button. And we're gonna be putting out some more videos this week on different things that we've been doing, different harvests, and um, just, you know, a little bit of everything that we do here day to day at the greenhouse and the farm. And uh, hope to see you guys soon. Have a good evening.